Great for a walk this weekend as well, making dreams come true for children in Michigan who are literally fighting for their lives. It's the Rainbow Connection, and the group has a big event coming up this week. And we wanted to make sure that you know how you can help make a difference in young lives this weekend at the annual Walk for Kids at the Detroit Zoo. So we invited the founder <laughs> of the Rainbow Connection here today, Oakland County Executive L. Brooks Patterson. Welcome, Mr. Patterson. Good afternoon, ladies. Good to see you. Nice to be here. What a great walk this is. I know our own Dave Llewellyn is on the board. Yes, and she is. My mom was there last year. You weren't feeling too well. well I, I was. Uh, I just yeah. came out. I don't think I was even out of the hospital last year. But yeah, this is one of our biggest fundraisers. You know, over the years since we started back in 1980, so it's a long time yeah. we've been around. Uh, we've gone, I think, from the first year of $2,300, now $1.9 million. Wow. We have a staff of nine, so and we unfortunately have a lot of kids who are facing life-threatening illnesses that need some. And so, what, what does the group do? Well, we, we meet with the health uh, caregivers, be the nurses, the doctors, and um, the caregiver then tells us that child really wants to, the, la the, the, the wish child who's going to lead the parade in the zoo this weekend, she wanted to take her family to the Bahamas. And boom, we take them down to Atlantis, mm. and everything's paid, and we got the nicest letter from the mother from Melissa's mom saying, it was the first week we didn't have any cares. Everything was just so nice. And so we, we give them something to smile about as they, you know, they're fighting and fighting, fighting back. And we've done this about, I think, 26, 2,700 times now. So uh -huh. it's a very fulfilling charity. Uh, I went on one wish. Never again. It's way too emotional for me. Oh, is oh, it? My, oh, is my it? Gosh, yeah. And it's a passion yeah. for you. You get so many people involved to support it, Mr. Patterson. Yeah. Um, um, my friend, my best friend at the time, was killed in a plane crash. He took his two kids with him. They were in the plane. Mm -hmm. And that was just too much to accept. So yeah. we did something in memory of the children, but then that's what's grown over the last 35 years. How are you doing? It has been, we talked about a year ago, May yeah, still have been in the hospital. Been, How are you, you feeling today? My anniversary was a year ago Saturday on the 10th of August. I'm still confined to the wheelchair, but... Um, I, you know, I'm making progress. I hope to be out of the chair in maybe another month, maximum two. Okay. I climbed up on the stool today. You did all right. <laughs> yes, you did. We saw that. So That's I'm getting right. a little bit more. You know. Energy level good? Yeah, it's back. I'm back working full schedule all day and did a pretty uh, busy speaking schedule in the evening as well. Yeah, and so much going on as you're getting back to yourself, Mr. Well, before Patterson. we wrap it up, I'm going to make sure yes, people well, know it's Saturday morning. Okay. <laughs> registration's at 7.30, yes, yes. Uh, and the walk starts at 8.30. And unfortunately, we're down a couple hundred this year from registration, only because we moved from after Labor Day to before Labor Day because of a scheduling right. problem. So we want people to know the walk for kids but by the Rainbow Connection is uh, coming up this Saturday. Yep. And last year we had 1500 and raised $144,000. Oh, so we want to get close to that number, if not better, this year. Before we go, yeah, can sure. we ask you one more question sure. about the DIA? We, yeah. we said earlier in the newscast, you heard us, the County's Art Institute passed a resolution mm -hmm. saying it would end its obligation to continue funding the DIA if the city were to take the steps to sell the art. Yeah, exactly. You applaud that decision. Well, of course. I mean, we, we willingly taxed ourselves uh, as a good neighbor for 10 years, two-tenths of a mill, as did McComb and Wayne. But, but the whole idea behind the tax was to support this regional asset, this mm -hmm. art collection worth well, a couple of billion for sure. But if you start to sell it off, then what are we sending the tax dollars down for us? You broke your end of the bargain. Mm -hmm. You can't expect us to pay for something that, if it's totally depleted, it's not even there, and then that's then the money's just going to the city, and that's not why we passed it. Yeah. Will we see you out there Saturday morning? Well, I'll be there Saturday morning. Right. Okay, <laughs> okay, good. I'll see you there. Good, guys. good, good. Thank okay, you very much. Thank you so much. Sure, pleasure. You feel good. All right. All right.